This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. We learn more about changes being made to FunFest to keep the 2020 celebration in Hazleton safe during the pandemic. Hi everyone and thanks for being with the SSP TV family. I'm Ken Cara and here's your local information from SSP TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. The Downtown Hazleton Alliance for Progress wants your opinions on reopening businesses. DHAP is part of the Greater Hazleton COVID-19 Recovery and Resiliency Task Force. They have a survey at downtownhazleton.org about reopening stores, shops, restaurants, recreational venues, holding events, and more. Krista Schneider, DHAP's Executive Director, says that just because businesses are open doesn't mean customers will automatically resume their pre-COVID spending and shopping habits, and that the survey will help local business owners with their business model. Now we have more information on FunFest 2020 in Hazleton. Our Janine Lassant recently had a conversation with FunFest committee member Andy Piskel about the annual celebration in the city. Joining me now is Andy Piskel. He is on the FunFest committee. And let me tell you, Andy, this year is going to look a little different. But guess what? FunFest is on. It is happening this year, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so what yes, year is. are we in? When is FunFest happening? And how is FunFest going to look different this year than years past? And years past, you know, we had the street fair, we had the Broad Street closed, and we had car shows and vendors on the street and uh, entertainment stages and things like that. Uh, this year, due to the pandemic, um, things have changed drastically. We contacted one of these string bands and they agreed to come up and to actually get on the back of a flatbed with a sound, uh, sound system and whatever, and parade through the city playing uh, their, their type of music. This year also, we're, we're also honoring uh, our hometown heroes. Uh, we've had a system of, uh, of voting for people uh, from within the, commi the committee have chosen a number of people uh, that we figured were uh, heroes from the hometown. They are actually going to put a vote out for the action for the entire community to vote, pick one of those uh, people to be the actual hometown hero for this year's fun fest, and that that person, whoever wins the voting, will get to basically lead the parade and then. Uh, police escort in the back and it's you know very very small very uh compact but it'll snake its way through the through the city and uh they haven't determined a uh, route yet that's to, to be determined but that is it for sunday all right so september 12th that, and 13th fun fest okay. is definitely happening yep. when does all that take place okay now uh there is no food and vendors on the street at this point but the uh, Hazleton Art League uh, contacted us, and last year they they had a uh, program. This year they contacted us and they said we would still like to do that, and we we'd like to do that. And they, we said okay, it's fine if you're okay with this. They said yeah, we can spread out. Uh, they were talking about using the parking lot, the Hayden's parking lot across. Uh, the street from the new uh, um, Art League. They're going to be there from 9 to 2 p.m. And that's basically it. Fun Fest is happening September 12th and 13th. Absolutely. The streets will not be closed. There'll be a small parade on Sunday and Saturday. Right. They all have the Peace, Love, and Shock yep. uh, presentation. But we all are, we are honoring hometown heroes. Yes. And there'll be one specific name picked, but all of them throughout the entire year that you voted on each month, they yes. will be also recognized. Yes, absolutely. Very good. Very good. Well, absolutely. it's good. If anyone wants more information, I know that you have a Facebook and you have a website, correct? Yes, correct. Yes, so they can go on. The, they can even go on the uh, Hazelton Chamber of Commerce uh, website and get the information from there. And uh, but this year it's way back, scaled way back but it's just something to keep uh, Unfest alive and to have something for people to do that, you know, they're tired of sitting in their houses with, you know, and, you know, there's so much, so much Netflix you can watch, you know. <laughs>
Yes, I agree. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us here. Um, I know it's been a challenge, but again, Fun Fest is happening this yes. year in downtown Hazleton, September 12th and 13th. And um, I'm happy to see something happening during the pandemic. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Here's our weather forecast from the National Weather Service. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms tonight, partly cloudy with a low of 67 degrees. 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday, mainly after 2 p.m., partly sunny with a high of 83. Down to a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday night, mostly cloudy, low of 63 degrees. Thursday, a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms after 8 a.m., partly sunny with a high of 78. 30% chance of showers on Thursday night, mainly before 2 a.m., mostly cloudy with a low of 64. 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms on Friday, mostly cloudy with highs in the upper 70s. 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 2 a.m. on Friday night, mostly cloudy with a low of 63. Saturday, there's a 40% chance of showers after 8 a.m., partly sunny with a high of 76. And Saturday night, a 30% chance of showers before 2 a.m., mostly cloudy with a low of 60 degrees. The Penn State University Athletic Conference and the American Hockey League have made decisions about their upcoming seasons. The PSUAC has suspended fall sports due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Penn State Hazleton and Penn State Schuylkill are members of the PSUAC, so that means no fall sports for those two schools. The AHL plans to start their season on December 4th. The league says it will continue to work with its member clubs, including the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, to monitor developments and local guidelines concerning the coronavirus. Coming up, three local coaches and dads are holding what they're calling outdoor gym classes for kids in the area. Watch this fun story in just a little bit. And next, SSP TV intern JC Jimenez gives us a look inside the newly expanded Emanuel Christian Thrift Store and tells us how it helps students in the area. The Rotary Club of Hazleton is having a Zoom meeting on Wednesday at 12 p.m. for members. Gertrude McGowan is the guest speaker. The topic will be the United Ways 211 hotline. Instructions will be sent to members. If you have any questions, call 570-582-4143. Census assistance is being offered at State Representative Tara Twohill's office in downtown Hazleton at 1 West Broad Street. Census workers will help people complete their census forms inside the office and outside on the sidewalk Thursday from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. And that's tonight's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of the following. Teresa C. Kudlick, 90 of Weatherly. Mass is Monday at 11 a.m. at Our Lady of Lords Church in Weatherly. The Philip J. Jeffries Funeral Home in Weatherly is assisting the family. Condolences can be made at GriffithsFuneralHomes.com. George I. Wood, Jr., 90 of Whitehaven. Services are private. Lehman Family Funeral Service in Whitehaven is handling arrangements. For more information, go to lehmanfuneralhome.com. Deborah S. Debbie Woodring of Latimer. Service is private. The Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home in Hazleton is handling arrangements. Jury Calabello Jimenez, 29 of Hazleton. Mass is Wednesday at 10 a.m. at St. Gabriel's Church in Hazleton. Friends and family may call today until 8 p.m. at the Joseph B. Conahan Funeral Home in Hazleton. Condolences can be made at conahanfuneralhome.com. The Social News is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. For information, call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.